Australia has a lot of national icons. Kangaroos, Steve Irwin, Chris Hensworth. But something you may not know about Australia is that we also have the largest damn banana in the world. Yep, that's right. This is the big banana. And this is me. Join me on my journey to live inside the biggest banana in the world. Dad, I need you. Mm -hmm. Have I told you about the video I'm filming today? I am going to the big banana. There, we're just trying to live inside it. You're trying to live inside the banana. You don't do that? I don't know. We'll find out. So now we had approval from dad, he generously drove me to my friend's house who will be joining me on this journey. This is Dom and this is Brendan, my two friends from high school. They'll be making the six hour trip up the coast of Australia with me and enjoying a night inside that potassium rich yellow banana. Now it was time to leave the city and on the way out, Dom decided he was going to be the music for the rest of the ride. You just have to have um, tracks of me beatboxing. <laughs> <laughs> you can be the music. It started to dawn on me that this was going to be our existence for the next six hours. It's 4.54. We've been traveling for almost four hours and we've still got three hours to go on the map. The entire road to the Big Banana is the Pacific Highway. And then when we get to the Big Banana, the Big Banana is on the Pacific Highway. So when we're sleeping, we're going to be hearing cars at 3 a.m. while we're trying to sleep. By the way, I can't sleep with noise. I can't sleep with bananas as well. <laughs> also, I can't sleep with more than one one guy. Okay, so just his dad. Yeah, usually just my father or my uncle. <laughs> it's my priest. I always sleep with my priest. <laughs> After reminiscing on good times we've had with male figures in our life, we had to stop for petrol. But this was no normal petrol station. For some reason, this petrol station had the Puma sports clothing brand logo, and it hosted a pie shop which had some pretty big claims. Oh, Australia's best. That's not true. Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> Make sure you get a shot of the, the Puma Puma card. I've got, I've got my Puma card. Let me. No, my Puma card's in the car. <laughs> Fredo pies. Oh, when do you reckon they were baked? Oh, yeah, these look great. Dude, that's fresh, dude. That's nice. only like six, six weeks old or something. Wow, look at the charcoal on that. <laughs> you hey, how are you? Just vlogging. <laughs> are you guys still open? Okay, cool, thanks. I asked her if she's still open, just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> just to be sure that it's a thing. Back on the road, we were getting closer and closer to the big banana. Time, baby. We've officially made it to one hour, boys. How are you holding up, Dom? I'm getting a bit tired, but I'm right. Are you excited to sleep in the banana tonight? I don't know if that's really going to rejuvenate me that well. <laughs> Six hours again tomorrow. <laughs> we had made it to our final stop before reaching the big banana. But before we get there, we picked up some food and decided to ask some locals for advice for our night ahead. Oh, excuse me. We're trying to find, get to the big banana. We're trying to get inside it at night. Do you think we'll be able to get in? Yeah. Is it just in. open? Really? Yeah, can walk really? There's like no security right inside or anything? The banana yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can walk straight in. Yeah, wait, we've come to try and sleep inside of it as a challenge. We've driven like eight hours. Fucking mission, well done, Thank boys. You. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I will be looking mates. for it, and I'll see. I met the people that said the big That's right. Damn yeah, fucking right. Thank you, bro. Bye. Bye. Excuse me. Do you think we can get inside it? Yeah, it's walkthrough. You walk through. But is there like security? Like they got like, guard dogs no. or anything? No guard Fuck dogs, no. no. If the police came, do you think they'd like They're cuss dogs away? anyway. I'd just punch them in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what oh, I'm Oh shit, this is for us. <laughs> Filled with confidence from the kind words of the locals, we were back in the car and moments away from the big banana. Look, big banana, baby! 700 meters on the left. It is 10 p.m., boys. Oh, it's gotta be somewhere along here. I think somewhere. I can smell it. Oh! Oh my god, it's lit up so much. How are we gonna get in there? We drove up to the big banana, and we were met with some devastating news. No! <laughs> look, look, there's no way. Who locks a banana, man? Wait, I can maybe use my car keys. I cannot believe <laughs> it. Oh, look, every local said we'd be able to do it. I'm so upset. No. Me and my boys had traveled for nine hours to get here. Yes, it should have taken six, but it took us nine hours. But this is where we turn it around.
Our journey was not over. In fact, it had only just begun. In any amazing story, there must be a complication. For anyone to be a hero, they must overcome their villains. And today, in the face of adversity, today we stand. And by stand, I mean we lay. Because we are going to sleep under the big banana. Yes, you heard that right. Tonight, we are sleeping under the biggest banana in the world. But first, we had to get our gear out of the car. We got sleeping mat, hard hat if we need to do any construction. Very useful. You brought a hard hat, but we didn't bring pillows. <laughs> no. Ah! Oh, <laughs> there was something on there. <laughs> yeah, there was a mosquito on you, right? <laughs> I took some time off the camera to get my head back in order, and we set up underground ready for our night. We have set up a little utopia. My boys have got their sleeping mats. We only had two, so I'm giving it to Brendan. And Dom, they're getting the sleeping mats for tonight. We brought them. Toby forgot one. He's yeah. just trying to sound nice. I've got my sleeping bag here. I've got a little nightlight. And of course, we brought my anime poster, Emma. Dane, there's a stain right here. <laughs> After we settled in, we started to get some footage for the thumbnail. And then this happened. Oh! You okay, bro? Oh, fuck, that was a ah. Are you alright? <sighs> Now, obviously, I do feel bad for Brendan, but he was the one who smacked me on the head, so um, that's karma. In all seriousness, we gave him some time to rest up and make sure he was okay, and then we started live streaming from under the big banana. If you do want to check it out, it's over at my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Udisoft. Then after the stream, we decided it was time to get some sleep. I, I lied about the sleep part. We thought we were going to get some sleep until this stuff started to happen. See anything? We can hear people walking around. The big banana near us. I don't know if it's security. I don't know what's happening. I'm on my phone. They're cleaning, I think. I don't know if we're gonna get kicked out. Oh, they're gonna lose them. Don't get fucking calls. If we get kicked out, we have no way to sleep. Brennan's gonna have look. Do you see anything? After 30 minutes of nervous waiting underground, we realized it was actually just cleaners at the banana. So we're, we're leaving Dom with the stuff under the banana. There's cleaners everywhere. Dom's under there. Look, Dom's on the ground over there. All right, boys. We've decided we're going to fuck with the cleaners. All right. They're vacuuming right now. We're just going to turn it off. We're going to turn it off. Wait, don't go. Excuse me. Fuck. Excuse me. Hi. Are you guys open? Hi, are you open? Are you open? Ah, no, close. Oh, oh, close. Yeah. oh it's closed. Oh, it's closed. When, 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 when does it open? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe 10? 10? 10, oh. Thank you. After talking to the cleaner, we decided to go back and hide underground because we didn't want them to find us and risk getting kicked out. But then we had to face the worst challenge of the night. The cleaners brought out the water pressure cleaner. Someone has just started spraying water above us. It's 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. or something. There's water dripping from the ceiling. So we've had to move a little bit forward. Fun night. See you in the morning. <laughs> I know we said we were gonna go to sleep, but uh, then this happened three minutes later. Oh, fuck that! Fuck that! I'm you. Oh, shit. There's water everywhere. There's water everywhere. We're soaked. Cold, cold boys. This guy. Oh, oh we're soaking wet. Oh. This guy's pouring water everywhere. <laughs> Everyone's just giving up. <laughs> it's about 4 a.m. No one can sleep, but I'm determined to stay overnight in this banana. Water has been dripping on us all over our sleeping bags. Me and my friends are soaked. Sun rises in two and a half hours. My friends really want to leave. They really want to leave. And I told them I'm staying to finish this challenge. If they decide to leave, I don't know how I'm going to get home. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I genuinely thought my boys were going to leave and they pulled through to the morning. All right. We're still under the big banana. It is the next morning, boys. Let's go. Good morning. Uh, good, good morning, morning guys. Good morning, Emma. It's about 6 a.m. We slept maximum like two hours. Um, 
and we heard someone unlocking something and if you look over and you pop your head up you can see the gate to the big banana is open so the banana is finally open we slept overnight in the rain the cold and the shit the sun still hasn't risen just yet so technically i have now slept in the big Fuck you. Banana, baby. We had finally done it. We had slept inside the big banana. We checked out the rest of the banana, and inside it, there's a bunch of random banana facts, banana items, everything you can imagine that's banana related. But it was time to pack up and head home. As we watched the sun rise, me and my boys were proud of what we achieved. It wasn't sleeping under the banana which was special. It was the fact that we had set our minds to something, and no matter how hard it got, we didn't give up. As we were about to depart, the banana there was only one way I could summarize this journey the big banana fun park shittest Airbnb ever sorry do you mind if I grab the seat for a second cheers See you tomorrow. Same time? Gotcha. <laughs>